everyone, I'm Allison Cope and welcome to Gorgeous Diner Designs. Today I'm using the Ba La 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 Llamas digital stamp and we're going to do some Copic coloring. I have printed this out today on just your average 65 pound white card stamp from good old Michaels. It's one of my favorite papers to color on. I don't know why, but it just works for me. So we're just adding a base color to our little llama with the wreath around his neck. So, so adorable. Actually, I think it's a sheep. And then we're just uh, going in with a slightly darker marker and adding a little bit of texture with some kind of easy flick marks. And we're going to do the same thing with another darker marker and we're carefully going um, and adding some of the shading underneath the eyes and the, the llama's snout and underneath the wreath and down the sides of her neck. So I'm using a flicky motion and I'm going in different directions because if you look at a llama they have very very messy hair so I'm going flicks to the right and flicks to the left and concentrating those with that darker marker down the sides and anywhere there might be shadow. I'm going to go in and add some Copic marker to her eyelids and to the snout and to the base of her ears. And I'm just going to add some, basically some curly cues to make her top of her mane, I guess you'd call it, um, to look curly. Just going in and just adding a touch more shading to her eyes and around her nostrils. I'm going to add a little bit of green to the eyes just for a little bit of color. And then we're going to go in and put a base coat down for our wreath. I'm just using a light green marker and just going in and making some flicking motions in the direction that the branches are on the wreath pieces. So now that the base coat is down, we're going to go in, and here we go, a lot better now you can see what I'm doing here, with a couple of different shades of darker green. And I'm just choosing randomly which sprigs to add color to, because I'm going to bring in a different colored green to do the other ones. You don't have to do them in different colors, but I thought it would make uh, for a more interesting wreath. We'll get that uh, coloring and shading done. Put a little bit more deeper green in to a few of those areas as well. There we go. And you can add as many green shades as you want. You go in even with a white gel pen and add some highlights as well. I'm going to take a basic red marker and fill in all of those bubbles on the wreath. And I'm just going to take a slightly darker shade of red and just make a C shape down the side to indicate that there's some shadow there. On to the little fella's hat on the left side. Um, I have forgotten a part of the hat on the upper right hand corner which I just covered up. I will come back and color that red in. Continue to put a base coat of the red down on all of those areas of his scarf. We're going to take that same dark red marker that we did with the bobbles on the wreath and add some shadows and shading to all of those layers. So making sure to do underneath anywhere there might be a shadow that would fall. And just going back and blending it with that original red marker. Now I'm going to go on to color our other little llama fella. He's so adorable. I thought I would kind of go with an orangey brown coat for him. So we're putting our base coat down. Just quick, quick coloring. Coming in with our secondary, our medium tone, and adding a lot of those shading areas. So anywhere there would be a shadow. And then I'm going to slowly put in some flicking marks and add some for texture to him as well. You can go long strokes, short strokes, whatever kind of floats your boat. 
Um, and if you need to rotate your image to color it properly, absolutely go for that. Again, we're adding a little bit more shading in to deepen any of those shadows. So I'm going in again, making some flicking, flicking motions to get some hair. Now we're going to color in his snout with some shades of gray. And I also went over his uh, ear that's sticking out as well. There we go. And we're going to add a little bit of fuzz to our hat. And there we go. I fixed my uh, missing spot in the hat. And then I'm just using some simple dots to indicate that it's kind of fuzzy. We're going to go in and color that little teeny bell. We're going to go in some with uh, gold and yellow shades of Copix. Add a little bit of shading to the side and the underneath. And then we're going to do some gel pen uh, accents. And what I did there on my hand was to get my tip um, cleared and running, I just used the warmth of the back of my hand and uh, got that tip going. Added all those accents, and then we're just adding just a touch and a hint of pink to the ears. So we're going to make this into a shaker card. I've already attached a good amount of foam tape all around the edges. I even have a little piece of foam tape in the middle just to help uh, stabilize those little llamas in the middle. I'm just putting in some seed beads and some random red sequins. And I'm going to put it on our pattern paper background. And there she is. So, so simple and so super easy. And uh, going to be a cute car for the holiday season. Thanks for joining me today. And I hope you come again.